All right, so this is what I'm going with to start. So everything's been glued down. Um, like I said, I end up adding stuff and removing stuff. Now I'm going to take my gesso that I mixed with water and I'm just going to pass it over. Now this is still, um, since, you know, Fabri-Tac Fabri -Tac glue takes a while to dry. It's still a little wet, but I wanted to go ahead and, um, finish it so you guys can can get an idea I'm just putting um I'm just putting gesso on everything now even though this is watered down it looks thick but it's it's not I'm gonna go ahead and get some more water tap it a little more make it runny Again, I'm just just tapping because my I like I said my glue is still wet. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and dry it a little. that is because I want the, the gesso to go ahead into the letters. Get it off of beauty. You can see that it's drying, it's, it's, it's getting a little lighter, it's not as dark as when I put it in, put it on. So now my whole piece has uh, gesso. Um, as you can see, you can still see the, the color underneath. Everything's still visible. Now, ideally, you want this to be dry. Then, I'm going to only do it here because that's the only one that's dry. This is Rub and Buff Silver Leaf. And what we do is you just put some on your finger and you literally just rub it and you're buffing it at the same time, which is hence the name Rub and Buff. Now, you would do this on everything, um, but this is actually hot because I just heated it up. So, we're just going to do... Now, I'm pressing down so that it becomes smooth. I don't know if you, you can see that. So, now it's like a bright, shiny silver. And I'm going to do this to all of this so now all this is going to become silver and I'm also going to put silver on the actual mirror itself so you're going to have a mix of silver and the color that was there before if it's too silvery and you don't like it you can always spray it again and then that'll color some of your your pieces and then you can go ahead and and touch up whatever for example let's say that okay this is this is too silvery for me it's just an example so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with purple I'm gonna hit it with the blue mom yeah I have you something Oh, thank you. Some turquoise. I'm going to 
go ahead and heat it, uh, dry it up. And then once this dries a little, I'll go ahead and do the, the silver leaf. So now what you have is you're gonna have a mix of the colors that you sprayed plus the rub and buff, the silver. Now the good thing about this is anything you don't like or you don't want colored, you just get a little napkin and you clean it up, kind of scraping it. Now I'm gonna go back with silver because that is really what I like. This is hot, so we're going to use my spongy. The reason I like using the finger is because you can actually rub it and it gets like this shiny. With the sponge, it just it just mixes in with, with whatever paint is on there. It's not the same effect. But, since I just heated this up, it's kind of hot. So, we're going to just stick to the sponge for a little bit. Wait, wait. Yeah. Um, I have these games in my, in my, in my, in my school. Alright, so... Just getting some areas that I don't want the color to see too much. This little area here, you see the fabric tack? It just uh, looks it all liquidy. All right. Oh, sorry, I stepped on the So this is what it's looking like so far. And like I said, it is hot. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry or cool off, and then I'll come back with the silver leaf and do it with my finger to make it even more shiny. And I'll have a completed mixed media mirror. And I'll do the same to the other side. Um, I will put rub and buff here. I'll put some, uh, what do you call it? Um, some cog wheels and silver them out so it can match but in reality it's the back that I'm doing so that's my project and I hope you guys have fun I know the second part was a little faster and could be a little bit confusing it's just that it takes more time um, and I didn't want to do too many parts to the video so I hope you guys enjoy it as always, have fun and thanks for watching.